In a summer filled with superheroes and sequels, could After the Wedding be the counter-programming audiences need? You must be Isabel. Yes. I'm Teresa. So nice to meet you. Michelle Williams, Billy Crudup, Julianne Moore, and her husband-slash-director, Bart Freundlich, sure hope so. I pronounce you husband and wife. Hi, good, you made it. Isabel runs an orphanage in India that I'm thinking of funding. Oh, what are you doing here? really special movie. Nobody was who I thought they were going to be, and then nothing was what I thought it was going to be. What's one thing you think everybody should know about this film? That it's about relationships and people and what we mean to each other. I mean, because that's what I find so compelling about it, is at the end of the day, you know, what do you what do you care about? You know, you care about, you care about your family. These are people who are, have incredible resources in their life, and they still make huge mistakes that they have to account for at some point, and uh, they do the best they can. Hopefully, if we've done our jobs, it's deep and you leave affected and thinking about something. The film is filled with secrets and surprises, twists and turns. And if you're in need of a good old-fashioned ugly cry, you're in luck. Is there a piece of work that does that to you guys? The first one was Terms of Endearment. When I was like 15 oh. years old, I was doing, um, and, and I did that at Still Alice, mm -hmm. and I did that at a single man. I'm not just naming my wife's uh, work, <laughs> but anything that is, That's it. Don't do it now. Oh, no! <laughs> no. Don't do it now. Not the interview. It's just... I cry at anything. I mean, America's Got Talent will have me in a puddle. Yes. Me and my son will watch that sometimes. I'm like, it's just a magic act. And while Julianne and Michelle go head to head on screen, off screen, their camaraderie is infectious. So, for those who don't know, the leads had been played by male actors. Right. And yeah. now they are being played by two of the finest actors of our time, oh, you thank ladies. You. Have you thought about any other roles that you would like to sink your teeth into, but roles that had been played by a man? Ooh. Butch Cassidy in the Sun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, it's so hard. You want to do like a steely western? That's right. Well, you know, I can't be outside that much. <laughs> I actually you know, did a western a... wearing a bonnet, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to bring the bonnet back because you're like, that's why they wore coverage. them. They're that's genius. A... Sophie's Choice. Sorry, it just came to me. <laughs> Sophie's, Sophie's Choice. Sophie's Choice. There you go. Yep. Nice. All right. This film is also about secrets. So, what is the secret about the person sitting next to you that I wouldn't know just by looking at? You guys. He's not as tall as he looks. <laughs> he looks pretty tall. Yeah, I know. You share something in common with my father, which is you could fall asleep anywhere. Oh, but then oh like, yeah, that's I an can. amazing thing. I can. I was like, because I can never fall asleep. She's like, watch, I'll do it right now. <laughs> I can. I can fall asleep. I can. Uh -huh. I have like a countdown that I can do. I can fall asleep in front of you. I can nap, um, like like this. That's crazy. Isn't that amazing? After the wedding hits theaters Friday.